Hey, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here. And last week we covered how to sketch elevations or use sketch to show elevations in different ways. This week what I want to do is show you how Xactimate can actually house your elevations on the grouping tree instead of having to sketch them. It's pretty cool. So let's go take a look. So we're gonna start here in an estimate, in the estimate items section. I've got my grouping tree pulled up here. And what we're going to do is add four folders, one for each of our elevations. So I'm gonna to go to add, and I'm gonna hit continuous add here. That way I don't have to click in and out, I can just add all four folders and just be on my way. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna type front elevation, and I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Notice that I have the top of the grouping tree selected here. Attach is only your, your only option when you have the top of the grouping tree selected. If I had selected main level, I would have the option to append, assert, insert, or attach. But since I have the top level selected, it's only going to let me attach. Now that I am at the front elevation level and it's added that folder, you'll see that I do have other options here that come up. We've got append, insert, and attach. Okay, so it's good to know this. This is kind of a side note, but you need to know where you want to add your new folder. So append adds it to the rear end. Okay, so what it's going to do is add it to the bottom of the list and it will be its own folder, not a subfolder in any way, shape, or form. So watch this. I'm going to append. There we go. Added it to the rear end. That's the only way I've been able to remember that. Okay, so append adds it to the rear end. If we're going to go with the rear elevation next, if I insert it, it's gonna go above the right elevation. So right here, it went above the right uh, elevation there. And I like the rear elevation to be front, right, rear, and left. So this actually needs to be dragged down here. There we go, not a problem. And then lastly, we want our left elevation. And with our left elevation, we would not want to attach it because it'll become a subfolder of the rear. So append adds it to the rear end, insert puts it above whatever is selected here on the grouping tree, attach makes a subfolder. So if you wanna see what that looks like, there you go. And what it's done is it makes it a sub of the rear elevation, which is incorrect. So if you make mistakes on your grouping tree, you should be able to left click, hold and drag them around in order to make them become unattached or just move them into the right order. So I can left click, hold and drag left elevation. Sometimes this works, see that blue line? That creates a main folder again, okay? So once you see that blue line there, let's see if I can left click, hold and drag and just kind of have to hover in the sweet spot right there. That'll make it become a main folder once again. So now that I have four main folders, front, right, rear, and left, let's dig into how you would add dimensions to these folders without having to go to sketch, okay? So I'll double click on the folder itself and this window is going to come up here. Dimensions is where it's going to default to. So what we can do here, we're in the dimensions part of the folder. I'm just gonna left click add. When I left click on add, we are going to change the shape. This is very important guys, don't use the box. That's not what we're doing. We're not creating a 3D space, right? An elevation is the 2D side of something, right? We're gonna paint the wall or play, put siding here. It's not a box, it's not a 3D place so that we're going to need the four walls. So your shape is very important. You need to drop down the list here and choose elevation. There we go, now it's the 2D side of the home. It's gonna ask you what's that length? Let's put in 20 feet. What's the height? Let's do, I don't know, 10 or 12, let's go with 12. And the gable height. Now not el every elevation is going to have a gable. You can leave it at zero, that's absolutely fine. Or you can put in the actual gable height. Let's give it a six foot gable, it's a very low slope roof. So now that we have the dimensions entered, we can left click okay. And let's just go ahead and look here. You've got your front elevation, it has your dimensions. I'm gonna go ahead and click this little red X, even though I don't like to do that, but this is one instance I have to. Select the front elevation and now you'll see there's like this tape measure looking icon instead of a folder. That means that I have dimensions contained in that folder there, that when I go ahead and add my paint siding, that I can leave the calculator at W 
and it will auto calculate how many square feet. So there we go, we need 300 square feet to paint that side of the elevation. Just double click on that folder and take a look again. You can double click on the dimensions and there they are. If you want to remove for windows or doors, that's where you can use this what's called missing wall tool. Click in there and you can add a new window if you'd like. So if we got a 4040 window, opens into exterior, quantity one, choose the icon that looks like a window and then it will deduct that square footage when we close all of this out. So instead of it being 30, or I'm sorry, 300 square feet, it is now 284. Okay, so lots of fun stuff you can do in here, um, just messing around with this tool. And um, I can go ahead and just rock on to my right elevation, add. We're gonna go to shape. Remember your shape, guys, don't use the box. Elevation, this one doesn't have a gable end, maybe it's 35 by, what I put, 12? Uh, left click OK and uh, exit out of there and then I can add all my materials and just keep on going down the list here. Now, how is this different than what we did last week where we sketched the elevations and then apply the material? I'll show you. This is easier <laughs> for one, but also your results from printing will not be the same. So let's take a look here at our line item detail. You'll see this front elevation will come in with this little doghouse, right? No matter whether you use the gable end or not, in fact, let me just go back and illustrate this. Remember that our right elevation does not have a gable, does not have a gable end. But when you look at your printed report on the line item level, you'll see that it looks exactly the same as the front elevation. So what I'm trying to say is if you want a visual picture of what the elevation actually looks like, you gotta sketch it. And you've gotta sketch it in the way that we talked about last week where you lay down the room and like a pancake and, and draw it out um, that way. If you just want your dimensions, you just wanna get in there, get it done, and call it a day, you wanna use your um, elevation folder grouping tree tool rather than going to your sketch. It will just make it look really odd on your estimate. This little icon shows up here and it's not specific to the dimensions that you've entered into that folder into the dimensioning tool. Okay, so it's just going to be this generic doghouse looking thing every single time, no matter how much square footage or how high the gable, it's all going to look the same. Okay, so lesson learned. If you want to see an actual representation of what the the elevation looks like, you gotta sketch it. If you don't care, you wanna just roll with the dimensions, this tool is much easier to use and will be a lot faster, a lot quicker to get those dimensions into Xactimate and call it a day. This has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you liked this topic, go ahead and share, like, and subscribe below. If you have any questions, be sure to comment, or if you have a suggestion for next week's tip, be sure to comment below as well. For more information on XM8 Mastery, visit www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.